generations of Bulldogs and Bulldog fans have come to cheer on their Butler teams here at Hinkle. And tonight, the beloved mascot, Trip prepares for retirement. And his successor is introduced. The 12-week-old pup making his debut. The next dog up as Butler uh, hosts Marquette. Second chance opportunities for all. And again, the shot clock winding down at under five. Howard lets it fly. Got it. That's why he's the leading scorer in the country. Do everything. Chase Marcus Howard, score. Howard off the screen, and he's two for two. Three pointers. There's got to be some help on that. One of 11, and it's going over Tuesday. Very uncharacteristic. Three for seven from three point range, but not tonight. See for Sean McDermott after going 0 for 7 from three-point range Tuesday night to knock down that triple. And now the back cut and the reverse. School of thought, but not executed well. Howard's got eight. Inside pass to Enzi, draws the contact, and one. Get it into the post. Smith, he's had that jump shot look, but he hasn't taken it yet and gets the assist to Badley. Makes himself useful with a hard basket cut and flush. And Butler gets a lot of offense on the baseline. And they've done so again tonight as Marcus Howard answers with his 17th point of the first half. Defense has gotten a little messy and disjointed. McDermott open. He's not going to win this game if Baldwin's that quiet score the, the rock. In the corner for Annam. Hit again. Another triple. <laughs> Baldwin guarded by Annam. Takes it in. Oh, great feed to Bryce Golden. The more productive he becomes. Kane, the baseline. Baldwin looking for an opening. Battle. He'll shoot it and does. 28 per game. And in conference play, that number is even higher at 31 per contest as Baldwin answers with the drive and the offhand. But you're in a rock and a hard place there defensively. Thrown away, but Enzi was able to chase it down. Badly drives it. Needs a three to tie. Final seconds at Hinkle. McEwen lets it fly. Hit it. Look at Howard as almost a decoy here. Henry Badley retreating, and that's a deep three, but it's a rhythm one as you're able to walk into it and get your timing down and just drills it. Baldwin for the win. And we're going overtime at Hinkle. Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Vince Welch and Nick Baal with you as Kamar Baldwin gives Butler the advantage. The only points for Marquette during that stretch, and it was a big one. The back cut, and McDermott from Enzi. Improved that part of his game, cutting off the ball. Bailey for three. Answers. Here, John has to get out there. A little shake and bake from Baldwin, loses the defender, and hits it, and counts. When it's your night, it's your night. Drops Kobe McEwen through the contact, gets the jumper and one. I, Baldwin has been impossible to keep out of the lane. And if someone else beats you, got to send two at Baldwin. Come on, Baldwin. The free throw line earlier this season, he's 10 of 11 from the stripe tonight. This doesn't need to be a three. And a block by Tucker. It doesn't have to be a wild three. Annam, three-pointer, got it! But this is a tough shot. I mean, Colton McEwen's knocked down a couple of bombs. Howard trying to draw the foul. Gets up the three, doesn't go. Enzi leaves it for Baldwin, and that'll do it. College Hoops tip off with a special Sunday doubleheader on Fox. Cassius Winston leads number 11 Michigan State against Minnesota. And number 12 Oregon battles UCLA. Sunday at 2.30 Eastern on Fox and the Fox Sports app.